Remember, not super tight. Just put it in there. <laughs> And now you're going to pour the dyes that you have, and I'll st I will start out with the yellow. And if you, uh, you if you want the more color, <laughs> the more yellow you want, you pour most of the yellow in places. Pour it all in there. I like doing this because it's just it's freeing. There's no hard, fast what you have to do. Okay, that's good. Now your next color mm -hmm. that you want. Right. Up to you. Yeah, just do it in different places. Don't cover the yellow. Okay. And try to leave some space for the blue. Because you want to see, you know, distinctive differences in color. That's good. And um, these, like I said, they sit three hours, but I just would l leave them in here over the weekend. And when you come back Monday, we'll wash everything out when you have time or something like that. How about the eye dye? The eye dye, um, you don't have to let that sit. Once it's done, you just wash it out and um, iron it, and it's finished. You put it in the um, washer. These dyes can be done in the washing machine. There's a wipe over here. You want to cover up all your fabric. Just move it around, and wherever you don't see any dye, add more color. And it's okay if it sits in the dye. And the funny thing is that it doesn't, like, all of the darker colors will not ca capture all of the, the yellow will stay in places. Okay, there's still some room over here. I see all kind of... Spaces. So, what do you think you're going to get when this comes out? Rainbow? Uh, yeah, a rainbow, but what mixture of colors? You're going to get all kinds of colors. Um, purple, green. Mm hmm. Um, yeah. Orange? Yeah, there'll be orange. Now, I would, if you see white spots, you can smush it down. There'll be browns because remember, when colors mix together too much, you get a muddy effect, but it's still, this, you know, this one, and because this is velvet, of course, it's different. This is where the colors kind of mixed, and I like that rusty color where it got kind of muddy, and then there's the brilliant blue and spots of yellow, so, you know, a little bit of purple. That's what, yeah, Mark likes that too, so. That's that for the dyeing. Do you want to wrap a pole? We don't have much fabric, but do you want to wrap on a pole? Mm -hmm. We have PVC pipes where you can wrap your fabric around and dye onto it. Um, yes, let me show you books. That's what I didn't show you.